Hello, my name is Jim Gill. I'm an artist, illustrator, cartoonist, and I work for the Center for Arts Inspired Learning. Da, 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 da. And I've been invited by the library to do a, uh, a program with you guys, uh, drawing. So we're, and the prompt that I was given was to uh, answer the question, what if you're going to travel into space? And so when I think of outer space, I think of an astronaut. So um, I'm going to be drawing an astronaut. And then I thought, what would an astronaut take with him into outer space? And interestingly enough, uh, when my daughter was uh, much younger than she is right now, let's get a shot of her. She's at work right now, actually. <laughs> I'm annoying her by being in her office at the moment, uh, which is also our living room. Um, when she was four years old, I asked what she would take on a trip into outer space, and I actually have her answers recorded uh, from many years ago. So uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to draw some of the objects that she mentions that she would take into outer space. Or you could think about the objects that you would take. What would you take in outer space if you're going on a, on a trip, let's say, in a rocket ship? So those are the things you're going to be drawing. Uh, and to, to facilitate this, to do this more easily, I thought uh, it would be good if my cameraman, who's my wife, uh, was going to be standing over me looking down at the paper. So you're going to be looking over like right at what I'm drawing and it'll be easier for you to follow along. You will need uh, a piece of paper and a pencil. And if you have an eraser, that would be good. Also, if you have, some, maybe your pencil has an eraser on it, if you have a marker, I have two different size markers, Sharpie markers, but any kind of marker would be useful too, uh, or a crayon or a color pencil. Uh, really, the pencil and the paper is the most important thing that you need. So from here, we're going to switch over to the overhead view, and we're going to get to hear uh, what my daughter would take into space. <laughs> what about you, young lady? Oh, it's already on the ship. What about you, young lady? What would you take? Toys, something to paint, TV, movies, games, uh, t-shirts, clothes, cans, uh, food, water, juice, drinks, bed, uh, potty, uh, toilet paper, and me. And mom and dad. What kind of cans? Meat cans, like soup and vegetables and uh, spaghetti oils and stuff. Okay, yeah. Meat cans. Right. For lunch. For lunch. And then dinner you'd have out, maybe, wherever you're at. Yeah. Okay. So, starting with our paper, um, and it's vertical, tall... Uh, I'm just going to draw a, a simple astronaut, like a cartoon astronaut. Uh, we're going to start with a circle. Notice I'm using a pencil and I'm not pushing real hard and I'm going around, I'm using my whole arm to make that circle. I might go around a few times just to get kind of a nice circular shape. And then I'm going to put a square underneath it. And I'm going in a little bit of an angle too, it's just a little more interesting. Uh, where the arms and the legs are going, I'm just going to use two lines like that and two lines like this, almost like like a U and another upside down U. And the hands right now, I'm just gonna put a circle. I'm drawing, sketching very lightly. Hopefully you can see this. I'm sketching very, very lightly because when I go over it with a marker, um, I, it'll be easy to erase away the pencil line. Now, because the astronaut is wearing a helmet, uh, most of the face is taken up by the shield so I'm going to draw a circle inside of that. And then I'm going to draw uh, just two things on the sides, like maybe there's like some kind of receiver earpiece or something, and maybe there's like a, maybe there's a camera on the top of the helmet. So when they go places, the people back on the spaceship can see what's going on. The arms, now remember these are like, it's almost like a stick figure that we, you know, kind of build out. The arms are going to be, um, we started with this, that's just to get the shape of it. But I'm going to make them thicker on both sides. Like I've added, you know, and again, this will get erased away, so don't worry about that right now. And the same with the legs, we just thicken them up. And the, sh the boots, like the moon boots that they wear, uh, could be a shape, something like this. 
I'm going to have them going off to the sides. These are like the profiles of the feet. So this person looks like they're just like, you know, floating in space. Or almost looks like they got, like they fell out of the sky and hit right, landed right in your windshield. Which would be weird. Um, but the suit itself is going to have, like the body of the suit, it's probably going to have like gizmos on it that, you know, like we don't really, I don't really know everything that a space, that an astronaut has. And since it's just a cartoon, we sort of simplify things. But I'm sure they've got electronic devices and sensors and all kinds of stuff on their suit to um, to communicate back with the ship and with each other. And so it's just like we want to make it look kind of all teched out. Um, oh, and the hand, hands can be kind of tricky. Uh, we'll make, let's just have like a, like a, like the hands are just open like that. So we start with a, this shape that we have like a circle. We'll have a thumb come out to one side and then just, uh, we can go like this, just some fingers. Of course, there's a thumb and four fingers. And they wear gloves too, which will make it easier. Actually, when I was, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. When I was, uh, I did a little research actually, just to see how cold is it in space. It turns out it's super cold in space. Um, when you're close to the planet, if you're close to Earth, it's um, it's around 50 degrees. But uh, as you get farther out, way far away from Earth, it's actually, um, it's absolute zero, which is minus 455 degrees. It's super cold in outer space. So I think that's one of the reasons they wear these spacesuits is to stay warm. Um, I'm going to add some... I'm going to add some lines, like there's a lot of, like the suits are bulky, they're very bulky if you've ever seen an actual space suit. Um, so I think they add like ribbing in it to help them move and it kind of adds a nice detail. I'm putting it on the legs in there, it's almost, you know, it's looking like stripes. But I imagine this suit being mostly white, uh, maybe to reflect light and radiation when it's out, when they're out in space. And maybe they have a backpack on too. Maybe they got a backpack behind them that's got even more equipment on it and tools and stuff. And wraps around, tucks in here on the side. And if they're floating out in space, you definitely want to be connected to something because it totally wrecks your day if you float away from the ship. Um, so you want to be connected to the ship. That's the thing that gets you back home. So I'm going to draw like here in, this, in the side. I'm going to start just basically with a triangle. Just a triangle off on the side. And we're going to add some wings to that. Um, this is like a, sort of like a nose cone. Uh, and maybe this could be like, this little shape here could be like the window. And then there's got to be rockets on it so the thing can move. And maybe we'll put a little, little flames. So we know it's like a, a rocket. These are like, we're looking straight at it. Now this guy, this astronaut, is connected to this ship so we need to have just maybe maybe there's a little somewhere on the side I'm gonna make a like a like a lifeline that goes all the way back to the ship and this is what keeps the astronaut connected to the ship so if the ship goes somewhere it's gonna pull this dude with him um, I added little lines on that little details um, Oh, the, the, I'm guessing that these moon boots probably have like a big rubbery sole. So when they're walking around, like if they ever get to the moon, the, the dust and everything, maybe it's got some straps, some Velcro, space age shoe material. Um, at this point right now, I'm going to pause because I'm going to switch over to um, outlining it in black. So I now I have a, um, this is like a uh, sort of a bullet point, um, actually it's a fine point, <laughs> um, Sharpie marker, but it's a little bit a broader nib, that's the very end of the pen, it's black. Again, you can use any marker or you can just use a color pencil and now instead of sketching you're pressing harder with your pencil so your pencil line will show up. Um, I'm just going to go around some of the parts of the hand and a couple of details in the in the drawing. Um, the fingers too probably have those like um, areas that to help it move. 
maybe it's got stitching in it. Again, details that you can add later. Uh, I have some of those lines from the cloth that like moves and wiggles, like ho picture like a hose. Um, I'm not going to do the whole drawing. I just want to go over some of this to show you that um, parts of the lines get get traced, but parts of them don't. And the ones that don't, well, I will erase away. I think this is kind of an important feature. Head and face is always interesting. Since we don't see the face on this character because they're covered up with this mask, and it's usually dark, it's very dark, almost like picture like sunglasses. But to make it look kind of shiny, we add like these little ovals uh, and a circle like that, and I'm gonna color around it. And that actually um, makes it look like, in cartoon world, this is like adding what we call a highlight. And the highlight just makes it look a little more interesting. Uh, and you color all around it and right up to the edge of it. Again, this could be done with colored pencil. I might add like another little highlight too, just on the bottom of the mask, just to show we can see that it's maybe catching light from a lot of different sources, which of course, if you're out in outer space, there's the sun, the moon, there's stars, and there's no light pollution to get in the way of seeing everything. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna finish tracing this, um, and if you wanna pause here, you can. Uh, because I'm going to be tracing this, and then I'll go back and show you what I erase away. So I've outlined the uh, pencil line, and the, the pencil line that I didn't cover over, I'm going to erase away. I'm using something that's called a, a kneaded, kneaded eraser. Uh, it's gooey like this. Well, it's not gooey, but it's very, it's almost like um, silly putty, and it's real good at erasing. But you can use any kind of eraser, a pencil eraser or a gum eraser, like a pink eraser that a lot of, a lot of times you have in school. Uh, you'll notice that I'm holding my hands on either side where I'm erasing so I don't scrunch up the paper. You always gotta be always protecting your artwork, things that you've written, things that you've drawn. You always wanna take great care of them. You put work into it so that kind of care comes through when your stuff looks nice and clean and neat. And now I've just basically erased away most of the pencil line. Go back and press a little harder. Um, but that's the that's the astronaut so far. And now we're going to add some of the stuff that um, Sky took with her on her spaceship trip. She mentioned cans, meat cans actually, which uh, we all thought was quite funny. Um, but so a can is a cylinder. Uh, if you're looking straight this way, it almost looks like it's a, a rectangle. If you look at it this way, it looks like a circle. Um, but if you look at it from an angle, it is actually a cylinder. So I'm just going to draw a cylinder. I'm going to draw the top, little round part here, the sides, and a little rounded bottom. And we could put like a, imagine like a label on it or something. Uh, she also mentioned toys. I think I'll do a little teddy bear. So we could do like a teddy bear up here. That's going to be a circle and a bigger circle. And then two little like, or four rather, little ovals. Circles for the head, circles in the mouth. This is a very fast teddy bear, but this is something that Sky wanted to take into outer space. The things you take might be very different. A little circle for the nose. So I got a circle for the head, a circle for the body, four small ovals for the arms and legs, two circles for the ears, and the mouth is going to come down like that. Um, how about a baseball? She used to like, we were in the backyard, we'd play wiffle ball. Baseball is just a circle, but if you add if you add like the stitching to it, you could have a baseball floating there. And I guess all of this stuff should be attached to her so it doesn't float away. I want to definitely make sure this teddy bear is attached. I'm going to make, I think it's more interesting if you make the lines that are attaching stuff kind of curved and, you know, like they're floating around because everything is floating in space. Things are just floating around. Oh, and she didn't list on anything, but she loves to read. She absolutely loves to read. And we would read to her every night before going to sleep. So I'm going to draw a book that looks like it's open. This is a book. A book could also be just like a rectangle. Like that. Maybe a juice box. A little juice box. She had a lot of it. She had water, drinks. Juice, but the, the girl stays hydrated. 
and of course that's attached everything is attached So I'm going to add a few more things and I'm going to outline them with my marker and uh, I'll show you the finished product. So as you can see, I have added a lot of things from the list of things that my daughter thought that she would need to take into space with her. Coming down to this area, uh, she thought it would be good to have a bed. You need somewhere to sleep when you're traveling, always true, and uh, stuff to read, some books. Uh, we made this The Jolly Postman. That's a great book if you want to read a really good book. It's really cool too. Even, uh, it might be for younger kids, but it's the way that's all laid out because it's a bunch of different letters. And a can of corn, just because that's funny. Uh, Curdy will get that. Um, and uh, the movie Mulan, this, she saw it take some TV and movies. She loved Mulan. I don't, we must have watched that 25 times in one week at one point. A teddy bear. Uh, a shirt. She really liked peace signs and tie-dye shirts and stuff. Baseball. Another Curdy reference. He's going to be visiting this week. Uh, paintbrush. She loved to paint the ship. This is where mom and dad are probably flying this thing. And then uh, juice box and toilet paper. She was smart enough to think to take some toilet paper. If you're going on a long trip, you might need it. And of course, where is that going to end up? In the potty. Because when you got to go, you got to go. And right now, it's time for me to leave. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I thought it might be a fun project for you to do, just to um, wherever you're at, whatever age you're at, to draw the thing, to draw a space suit guy like an astronaut, and put all the stuff you like around it. Uh, it may not mean as much to you now as it will in 15 or 20 years if you hang on to the drawing, because it can be a lot of fun later on too. Anyway, thank you so much for participating. My name is Jim Gill, and I'm from the Center for Arts Inspired Learning.